of uh, the life and times of Karima Brown with the, the boss, ENCA Managing Director Norman Munzalele joining me. Boss, good morning and a difficult morning for us all here. And, and like I said to John, as much as we knew, yes, you know, she had been in hospital. Karima had been in hospital for so many weeks. She was a fighter and we expected her to come out of this. Yeah, no, uh, I said they indeed. Uh, Karima to, uh, to all of us. I uh, just want to say my sincere condolences to, to Karima and, and, and her family. Uh, may they find strength in these difficult times. Uh, also to the staff of ENCA who work, worked very closely mm. with Karima for so many years. Uh, to say that find strength. Uh, Karima has been a fantastic uh, addition to this channel. Uh, I think from my side, uh, as, the, as the MD of ENCA, you know, on behalf of, the, of everybody, I would just say my sincere condolences to the, to the family. Well, we've been hearing, and I don't think Karima would mind us saying this about her, Norman, is, yeah. you know, she was loved, she was hated, and there were those who loved to hate Karima Brown. She was uh, sometimes referred to as a, as a problem child because she liked to ruffle feathers, and John speaks about all the um, SMSs that used to come through on, you know, how we were treating certain stories, but we're not asking the right questions. Get that reporter to, you know, th this is what the actual issue is. Does she give you headaches as well? You know, I mean, I will really miss uh, um, uh, the, those moments. Uh, you know, when uh, Karima is onto something, uh, you I will receive probably close to 100 uh, WhatsApp messages at ungodly hours, I'm uh, sure. In ungodly yeah. hours and all of those things. Uh, somebody who was very fearless, mm. somebody who wanted to ask the difficult question, uh, somebody who was always available to, for the channel. Whenever there's any topic, uh, you call Karima, she will be here, and I think I will miss that as a channel. Yeah. I remember when I joined ENCA uh, and I say, Karima, how do you do uh, such a heavy content channel, I mean, con in a program at 9 o'clock in the morning? We're still going to church, man. So it's not, said, no, no, no. I think he said, no, you need to wake up with something big because she, she represents something big, something massive. Uh, and I think we, we were just finding, uh, you know, nice because we've moved the channel, the, the program to the 12 o'clock slot, was doing fantastic well. And I think people loved it and uh, would really miss uh, Karima on this channel. And, um, you know, uh, I think she also leaves, she taught a lot of us here, as we heard Clive say. She, she has taught a lot of us here, uh, you know, just how to, how to think about certain things and how to approach certain things as well. And it was always amazing, like you say, that Norman, she was always available. She was always available because that's how passionate she was. She would, you, even if she couldn't be here in studio, she would say, you know, we can do it on the phone or we can do it. She, she would never, ever turn down the opportunity to have a say on something that was consuming the country at the time. You know, I will miss our discussions on, uh, on, on the topical issues. Um, uh, you know, you know I, mean, um, I have got huge interest in, in, in political, political issues. Mm. Um, Karima was, I mean, you know, has been at the center of it. We'll, I'll miss our discussions, I'll miss our uh, insights into what is happening uh, on, on many issues. And I think, which I think she used to bring to the channel, uh, and which gives us an edge in terms of how we see things and all of those things. So we'll miss that as a channel. Uh, I think I'm uh, really, really uh, hurt uh, and sad about uh, these developments. Uh, you know, I think we just need to find strength and move on as a channel. You know, I, I really want to say to the family, my sincere condolences to mm. the family. And I think just for anybody who has missed it, Norman, we have a statement from the family here saying she'll be laid to rest in a private burial ceremony which will be held in accordance with Islamic rites and traditions and there'll just be a small number of invited persons who will attend because of COVID-19. But I'm sure we're giving the family all the support they need at this point. We'll give the support, the family, all the support that they need in this difficult time. Um, also, uh, also her son, Mikhail, mm -hmm. uh, must find strength. Uh, but thank you very much for the All right. Thanks, Norman. Thank Thanks for sharing that with us. Uh, I know it's difficult to get in and be the first to talk about this uh, this morning, the shocking, sad news here and a sad day at ANCA. And in the media industry as a whole, we're all reeling from it. Journalist and broadcaster Karima Brown passing away from COVID-19. She anchored our weekly show here called The Fix, and she was a regular political analyst on our channel for various stories. Well, 